Hey YouTube. One key to prepping is to test your preps, whether it be your food storage, uh, your water filtration systems, your bug out bag, your survival kits, whatever it is, you need to make sure that if you ever need to use them, you've used them before so you feel comfortable with them and uh, you don't always know what you're missing uh, and how things are going to work until you try them out. So that's what today's about. I don't know if you can see this on there. So um, these little saws are really popular amongst preppers, survivalists, campers. Um, I have to admit, I've never actually tried it. Um, I've seen them work. I assume that it works okay, but today we're going to test it out um, because it is something very light, so it's easy to put in your bag. Um, you can put this in your pocket and carry it around with you, but if it doesn't work, it's worthless, so we're going to try it out today. Okay. So, we're going to make sure that we've got... Okay, got something that I can apply some pressure that'll stay in one spot. Okay, so let's give it a go. Get my mark started. Okay, right away I can see that it's actually working fairly well. Um, I wouldn't expect it to be very fast. Um, so now that I'm trying it, I will say that it, when I do it in the future, I'll probably wear some gloves. Got a little bit of smoke going there. It's getting kind of hot. And it's stuck. Let's try again. It's working pretty well, but I can tell you that is a workout. It's almost through. Let's finish it up. So it looks like the key to actually using this it's not pulling against the tree because it does bind but to use the mo the sideways motion and just apply not as sharp of a pressure but a very dull pressure to it Well, it works. It's not super fast. Would definitely give you a workout, but tested, it'll stay in the bag.